Fine. Island lunch play. Yum yum. I have to get a shot from the locals. This is customs. Good morning, Philippines from Bicol. Wow, guys, this time we have really adventured out into the unknown. We are about 13 hour drive from Manila. We've driven our car through amazing landscapes and ended up in Ava's home province. Ava is just a couple minutes away from here, actually. Ava is from a province called Sorsogon in Bicol. Well, right now we are in Pilar. It's right next to it and Ava discovered this beautiful home. <laughs> that someone has built, seriously, valley in the middle of nowhere. And the only way to get here is with a boat. We did all of that in Ava's latest video, which I will link up here if you guys wanna see what it's like to stay in this luxury secluded villa. So it's not the luxury that um, you would normally think of, but because it is so, so nice and so secluded, me and Ava talked about it. It must be one of the nicest things that we've ever experienced. It's like among top five travel destinations from all the places we've been. Not solely due to how hard it was to get here, how secluded it is, just the feeling of being surrounded by nature. We turned off music yesterday and just sat and just listened to nature around us. Very beautiful place. So you should definitely check out Ava's video on that. Right now we are walking down into the forest and down to the boats because today we are going island hopping so while all of this video will talk about the stay in the back the house and everything you need to know I'm gonna show you a little bit what else you can get into while you are staying here beautiful garden this place is filling someone like me who've been stuck in Manila for a couple months working so hard this is rejuvenating me and giving me so much energy welcome to the vlog guys my name is Martin I make a living traveling the world finding hidden gems and destinations and also try to figure out my path in my life documenting everything so if you guys want to come along for that hit that subscribe button down there love to have you part of my family and then in return, I'll promise to give you some good content in your feed every once in a while. That might inspire you. Bye, house. See you later. Wow, just the trek to get here is so amazing. And this is where the caretakers are staying. People that take care of your villa while you are here. Look at this really cool bamboo bridge. Wow. It's like we're back in time, man, here in the Philippines. All right, now we're gonna say good morning in Filipino. Magandang umaga! Good morning! And we are on the boat. Good morning, Ave! Guys, our island hopping boat has pillows mm -hmm. and Shusha. a big bench. Ave, welcome to my video blog, by the way. Hello, guys! Welcome back to another video from Biko. This time we're in Pilar Sorsogon. This is my wife, Ave. Thank you for showing me around your province. Of course. And discovering all these hidden gems. Mm. I get caught up in emotions In my head I got explosions Now I'm drinking these mimosas Every day yeah. Now I'm going to explosions Okay, so you Every see that abandoned boat over there? Yeah Around four years ago, it got washed here oh, Wow, the typhoon blew yeah. the boat here I was wondering what that boat <laughs> was all about So they never removed it Right, mm -mm. it's completely broken. Mm -mm. Guys, we have now docked in the local town Pilar. This is where we arrived with our car yesterday before we drove the boat out to the back here to pick up some supplies. So Ava, you're gonna take me to a local market? Yes, a wet market. Let's explore I'll the show you how market, it's guys. done, not just, you know, supermarket. <laughs> you're gonna this show me what... the real deal. Yeah. Uh, the provincial way. Let's go. Welcome to Pilar Wealth Market. Thank you. There's a lot of action going on here. I hear a lot of talking and screaming. Maybe they're negotiating prices. Oh, wow. So this is all of what the fishermen got last night. Whoa. Everybody's trying to secure food for the day. 180 kilo. One kilo, one uh, Look at all these different tropical fish they can catch out here. Oh my god, I'm amazed. Look at that one. So colorful. Wow. 
It's upside down. Now this is a beautiful fish. Yellow fin tuna. Wow. For how much? 794 pesos. It's a 4 kilo fish. It's 200 per kilo. Mm. Oh, we're gonna have a feast tonight. The first time I'm really appreciating buying such a beautiful fish. Fresh uh, fish. Yeah. Not, not in the supermarket. So many things are being sold and bought here at the market. Here you guys see people are even selling coconuts. There's some local street food. Wow. And then I think Ava is shopping some vegetables. Hello, Kuya. Hello. These are Filipino wooden trolleys. You'll see people, they build this themselves and they carry stuff on it. I've never think vlogged one, but we always see them in the Philippines. Like this is a big part of the culture. Yeah, feels good to finally capture one on video, exactly what it's used for. That's it guys, a five minute intensive negotiation is over and we got everything we needed. Now we're gonna go out and enjoy surrounding areas. If you're a Filipino and you're watching this video, Comment below which province you are from. It'll be very interesting to see. I know a lot of people are living all over the world, but they have roots from certain parts. So if you're from this area, let me know. Hi, Ave. Hello. <laughs> that, that's all we bought. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Fresh. There's no meat. Right. Only Just fish. Seafood. Yeah. I love it. That's the best part about going in my hometown, you know? Like, there's abundance of fresh seafood. Yeah. I love it. My Lola would be so proud of me because she always brings me to wet markets like this. Yeah. Here in Donsol, actually. Mm -hmm. We're in Pilar now. And you know when I was a kid, I don't see it that way. I don't see it's like, hey fish, oh my gosh, it's yeah. so slimy. Yeah. So like that. But now I get to appreciate it more seeing the fresh produce right in front of me. Like I agree. They just caught it today, like this morning. The it's tuna charming. that we got was caught yesterday afternoon. Yeah. So excited. Guys, we're being blessed with some rain from the rain gods. It's reality of, uh, you know, a tropical lifestyle. Yes. Right Not now. Always. Sometimes it's uh, super sunny and then it rains yeah. and then it's sunny again. But I'm expecting, you know, I'll show you guys. Right now it's like pouring. Look at that. But give it 10 minutes mm -hmm. and then maybe the sun will be back. The best thing is, it's only us. Yeah. There's no other bankas. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to Panumbagan Island! Time to explore the island because now the rain has stopped. See, I told you, it only took five minutes. <laughs> Guys, we have been able to spend about 10 minutes on this very beautiful island. There's a lot of birds and natural life here. It's so calming. Everything about this experience is so calming and relaxing and just enjoying it. We're just walking around taking like aesthetic photos and videos. Yeah, it's a good life. We are back on the boat and they have been preparing the lunch while we've been out exploring. Here you guys see they're cooking in the back. Hi! Thank you! She's grilling it right there. Guys, 
guys, we are now at Malau Mawan Island. Beautiful. It's like a road of coconut trees. We are back from exploring and the artists have set this amazing setup up for us. <laughs> it's like too much, you know, but it's just so nice. Oh my god. Wow, you guys. Wow. Princess. <laughs> Ganda. We even have a lounging area over here. Yellowfin tuna. Alimasag. Blue crab. Grilled eggplant. For 200 pesos. No, 4 dollars. Nice. I'm very excited about the yellowfin tuna. Have you tried it? Seaweed? Yeah, I like it. Mm. A lot. Mm. I feel it's best when you put calamansi. This put is my <laughs> island lunch plate. Yum yum. Would you look at that? Just right behind us, they're catching fresh fish. What they've done is they've created a circle of the net and lured the fish in the middle. And they're trapping the fish so it has no way to escape. And that's how we get dinner today. lunch on the island and now we are just swimming in this blue crystal clear waters at the back. This island is very beautiful. Fortunately there is a little bit of trash that's being washed up on the island probably from you know typhoons and stuff so that's something that I think could be improved here but other than that beautiful place local vibe everybody's very friendly to me everybody likes to see a foreigner but I also make it a point to say hi to everyone even though yeah when everybody, if someone's looking at me or they're just curious, I make sure to say hello, hi, thank you for letting me be here. And that is, I think, something, a custom that you should adapt if you're coming to this place. I have to get a shot from the locals. This is customs. Hello, guys. the villa and while we have been gone they have been preparing food for us More food. wow look at this it's probably like two to three hours since we had food different table set up yeah like i every love it dining, it's different table right setup. look at this how cute is this table napkin yeah <laughs> the details here oh, oh i love it very well done. They made us some um, pesto pasta. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this is a um, chocolate pancake. Yum. Yummy. And I think this is grilled chicken. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Fresh coconut. Oh, whoosh. And fresh mango shake. <laughs> That's good. Cheese. 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 Yeah! Love it! Martin, this is one of your favorite yeah. 
when you're in Bicol, Laing. Do you remember this? I don't remember it, but I can't. So it's a um, green vegetable with the um, ginataan. Oh. Yeah, so we're having a boudel fight. Yeah, big chicken. Dinner here today. Eggplant, tuna, all prepared Amazing. by Ate. Yes, all prepared Thank by Ate. Thank you. But you know what? I don't think this is just for the two of us. I think this is meant to be shared. Yeah. That's what boudel fight is. Yes. Yes. So what have you decided today? That we're gonna eat with... Sila ate. Yeah. yeah, everybody, we're so gonna eat together. Ate. We're very excited for this. Kayo na lang. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Kain na budo fight, but you cannot use utensils. Sorry. Oh. So make sure to wash your hands. Okay. tried something new last night. We tried to sleep in the room downstairs. It's a lot smaller, so the air conditioning gets a lot cooler here. I think that's just something we needed yesterday. So, yeah, we can guarantee that that works well. It's actually really nice to sleep down here as well. Love the wallpaper. This room gives me a feeling that is different from the room upstairs, which I think is really cool that they've tried to make different feelings in different days. At this, that take care of the place, have prepared breakfast, and so far everything they've cooked has just been amazing. So I'm really excited to go out. You know, look at that, huh? I know, girl. this is intense. <laughs> it's like better than most of the things. Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes of Avi's creativity. He always does this when we're staying at places. Kind of like sets up the mood, takes a photo, and kind of helps the owners with marketing the place. You have an eye for this stuff, huh? I love it. So this is how we do it. Look at that setup. Unreal. And this little bamboo couch over there actually made by one of the local guys here and like we've been spending so much more time there than we have in this one over here which this one is considerably probably more expensive it's just so charming to sit and hang out over there this is the setup of his created Ganda. this morning Ave is having some tea and I am using their French press. And I do believe the owner of this place is living in France. So that's why having a French press is like, woof. I love it, thank you so much. I guess my point is that not every Airbnb here in the Philippines has a French press or even a coffee machine. You know, you'll be surprised. You'll stay at really, really nice places and they only have three in one. Us Europeans, we just really, really take our coffee seriously. Seeing just a French press makes my Norwegian heart very happy. now 10 a.m. and I've been spending about 30 minutes cleaning up around the property making sure everything looks good because now we're bringing out the FPV drone. Guys, yeah, so the FPV drone consists of a smaller drone than the one we usually use and I also have these virtual goggles that I can wear and see exactly what the drone is seeing and then you don't, you kind of fly like you would fly an airplane. So it's like, you have this controller, it's a motion controller, so whatever I do with my hand, drone will also do. So that's very exciting. It's also a great way to show a property. So this is something that we do for our clients when we're working with them. We try to utilize all our different like technology things and creativity to create a product in the YouTube videos that just looks like Hey, I want to go there. This is part of the fun, part of the work that we do. So an FPV drone like this is about $1,200. So it's not something, you know, to just joke with. So what I always do, I wanted to take you through the process, is that I take one virtual tour of the property that I'm going to fly through and I just inspect every element. For example, this thing right here, I need to be aware of this because 
when I'm flying really fast, sometimes I can miss small objects. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for branches, wires. For example, here, I need to be super aware that the electricity wire is coming through here. When I'm wearing the goggles, it can sometimes be very hard to spot. So that's what I'm doing. It's just like me inspecting the scene that I'm going to be flying through, making sure that I have a mental map inside my head, that I'm not gonna be crashing with anything. I also prepared the upstairs living room. So I like opened up the doors, cleaned it out, make sure everything looks the way it was when we arrived here. So here my idea is to fly through this opening and end up over there. And then I think as I'm doing that, the viewer should be able to see the bedroom as well. There's so much space, but still, I need to be visually looking at these angles before I actually fly here, making sure that I can, you know, fly through. And then you see down here, there's a lot of space to go you know, around, come back up. I think this is gonna be really, really cool. I am very excited. I'm also now that I'm standing here seeing an opportunity to maybe go through the bathroom here. I could try to open that window, but I don't wanna risk it actually. Just made that in my head right now that I'm not gonna risk it. But the drone, yeah, the drone would fit. But if I make a small error, one, I could destroy the window or two, could destroy the drone. So I don't wanna do that. Okay, I've had a visual inspection and we are ready to fly. Enjoy it guys. For lunch, Ava has reheated yeah. this delicious. Is it called what's it called in? Laing and ano alimasag. I mean, mm. I'm not sure to you guys what it looks like if you haven't tasted it, but it is so good. It has coconut yeah. milk and this very good texture of a leaf mm -mm. combined gab gabi leaf, gabi leaf yeah. combined with the taste of crab, and it is just so freaking good. <laughs> yeah, I think it's even better now. We're just completely enjoying it in silence with nature. Then I have a little bit of work to do before we're gonna relax. The Wi-Fi is also really good here, so I mean, it's a bonus. If you have to work, you can do that too. All right, guys, it's work time. I am banging out emails over here. And Ave is doing a little painting session out here on the pool. So what made you recently want to start to paint, Ava? I just want to remind myself the places that I've been to without looking at any photos. Just like whatever's in my head of what I remember of that place. This one, it's a little tough, the pyramid in Mexico, <laughs> kitchen itself. I think it's cool. I mean, you're honing a craft, like a creator craft. I think it's really released. This place is releasing right. the painter, wow painter. <laughs> I love it. I always encourage Abba to follow her inner tuition. Mm -hmm. Go girl. I still remember your number. Can see those digits by heart. With that first drink of the summer. I think about where you are I dial 235, are you alive? How I miss our late night drives in four, six hours it In my mind I flip a switch and seven to forgetting you It's something I can't seem to do Even though we were just kids I close my Before we 
So sad, right? That all good things must come to an end. It's been a blast being here for the last three nights. Absolutely just the type of stay that me and Ava needed right now. Be able to relax, reflect, and appreciate how far we've come in the last couple of years. Working, traveling, you know, gaining new life perspectives, growing as people. So that being said, I'm leaving behind Villa Kulintang with a big heart. It's definitely a place I would recommend you to stay. In my opinion, it's perfect for two couples or a bigger family with maybe three or four kids. It is built so you can be 10 people. I think the space kind of is it's more perfect for a smaller group, I would say. If you have a big family, sure, bring everybody. But if you're two couple or a couple that just want to escape a little bit, this is the perfect place to do it. Thank you so much, Vila Kulintang, for having me and Ave. For all the hard work that you guys put into this place, it is really, really special. And I think it deserves a very, very big shout out. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for the next adventure. Yeah!